Hey guys, Dr. Cliff here with HearingLoss.com, and in this video, I'm talking about hearing aid IP ratings and why this could be your best indicator of hearing aid durability. Welcome back to the HearingLoss.com YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you click that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss any of our newly released videos. Anytime that you ask someone with hearing loss what their number one priority is, they will often say hearing better in background noise. However, if you ask a hearing care professional what their number one priority is, they would often say hearing aid durability. You see, hearing aids only provide benefit when they're actually working. You could have the best hearing aids in the world, and those hearing aids may allow you to hear perfectly in background noise, but if they stop working because of durability issues, nothing else matters anyway. The simple fact of the matter is that once you get used to wearing your hearing aids and you can hear all the different things that you need and want to hear, when that all goes away, it becomes a huge problem. This is why the IP rating of hearing aids is so important. An IP rating, which stands for ingress protection, is a numerical indicator of an electronic device's ability to resist infiltration of solids, like dust and debris, as well as liquids, like water and sweat. The IP rating ranges from 00, 00 to 68. The first digit indicates a hearing aid's resistance to solids. A score of zero would indicate that there is no protection against these solids from getting into and damaging your hearing aids. A score of six would indicate that the device is dust tight and no ingress of solid matter is possible. The second digit indicates a hearing aid's resistance to liquids. A score of zero also indicates that there is no protection against liquids entering and damaging your hearing aids. A score of 8 indicates that there is protection against permanent submersion in water up to a depth of 13 feet. Hearing aids are put through a lot of testing to determine their IP ratings, and name brand hearing aid manufacturers such as Resound, Starkey, Phonak, Oticon, Signia, Widex, and Unitron spend a lot of time to get these ratings of their devices as high as possible. Some manufacturers have even exceeded these ratings on the IP scale to ensure that dust, debris, and moisture are much less likely to damage their hearing aids. In fact, most of the hearing aids that are sold from one of these major manufacturers that I just mentioned have an IP rating of 67 or 68. This means that your hearing aids are much more likely to withstand the harsh environments of being on your ears and inside of your ears where they are constantly subjected to sweat, moisture, and dead skin cells coming off of your head as well as earwax from inside your ears. So if you want your hearing aids to function properly without diminishing in performance or you want your hearing aids to resist dying altogether at the worst possible moment, then getting hearing aids with a high IP rating should be high on your priority list. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe to the hearingloss.com YouTube channel for more informational content, and I'll see you in the next video.